a hundred subscribers. Thank you for the support from all around the world. I just want to say thank you. It means a lot to me. All right, let's celebrate this with uh, by finding the largest element in an array. Okay, not the most fun way to celebrate, but let's try to make it fun. All right, all right, three, two, one. Find the k largest element in a sorted array. Note that this is it is the kth large element in the sorted order, not the kth distinct element. For example, given three to one, five, six, four, and k is two, we want five. And you may assume k is always valid. K one less than k less than the race length. Okay, so now. Right now, on the top of my head, how do we find? So first of all, how do we find the largest element? Now we'll go through the entire array and compare the current element one by one, and then we'll have a global variable. We can call it max or whatever, and then make sure the timer is running, okay, and then. We'll use the max to compare the current element one by one, and at the end of the after scanning through the array, we'll have the max array. We'll have the max element in the array. Now we want to find. Now we want to find a kth element. Can we just go through the array k time? I mean, not k time, k times, right? So every time we can just find the largest element, right? Every time we can find the largest element that is smaller than the previous max, right? So if we do want to find a kth largest, we we'll just eat, uh, do five k k scans. Now the problem with that is we they it, they want the kth largest element, not the kth distinct element. Yes, there's the way to get around, get around with it, work around with it, but um, it's it's a lot more hassle. So if we if we if we if they were to find the k distinct element, I think we can use that method, and the runtime would be just k. But not the case. So other way is. We can sort now. I rather just code it out. So first of all, we can sort it first, right? So we can sort it first, which takes big O of uh, n log n, and so we want the. So we want the um, kth largest, kth largest, which means that if you sort this, so if you sort this, if you sort this array from the biggest in a descending order, this in a descending order, this element will be located at k. Now. Since we are using the natural sort, this is in, this is sorted in natural order, so we have to do it in on in the other way. So we're going to return numbers numbers dot length minus k. So say if the length is two, right, and k is one, so one okay is one the first largest which is the let's do it in an extreme case right so we have two elements in this array and the k is one so the first largest of the two element array is well of of course the 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 latest the the latest one right so we have two minus one which is one 
So we are look we are returning the last element. So yeah, that that looks looks right to me. So let's test it with. Okay, it looks about right. Oh, I can pass. Okay. Accept it. Okay, perfect. Now, since we have a lot of time left, let's think of a better solution. Do we have a better solution? Yes, I think so. So, right now, the time complexity is n log n, right? And the space is constant. So, can we now there's always a trade-off between space and time. So can we sacrifice some of our time? No, I'm sorry. Can we sacrifice some of our space in order to optimize our time? Yes, so whenever we see find whatever largest or find whatever smallest, the first reaction would be priority queue. So if we have a priority queue, priority queue, and this is going to be integer, and uh, queue, so Now we have this priority queue, and uh, what we need to do next is to insert every single element into the queue. Well, the reordering, the reordering, or re reordering of the queue is going to be log n, or oh, log k, since the size is k here. The size of the queue is k. So now this is a queue that is sorted in natural order, which means in uh, descending order. I mean in our ascending order. So whenever we push our elements, so whenever we push the element, We'll ch need to check if the size of the Q is larger than K, right? Now, if it's larger, then we need to get something out. Now, this is sorted in natural order. So the smallest, the smallest element will always be on top, and then it will always be popped when we want to remove a element. So once we keep doing this, once we reach the end of the element, once we just finish scanning the whole array, what's left would be the largest, the top k largest element. In the in the queue, so queue will be pop. Wait, this is queue, so this should be pull, right? And oh, actually, we don't need this. And at the end, we'll have queue peak because. Or we already have the kth largest element. We already have the kth largest element. We already have the kth largest element in the queue. What we want right now is the smallest element in this queue, in this priority queue, in this heap, actually. It's actually a heap. Okay, let me test if it's working. P 
peak. Okay. You know, I'm thinking too much of cherry blossom, you know, the cherry blossom peak. This is. Okay, now five, five. Okay. So let's submit it. Hope I can pass. Okay. Oh, it's accepted. Perfect. Okay. So the time complexity is, well, the time complexity is for every element, you have to do a reorganize. Um, no reorganization. So I, I feel, I've, so that, that is n log, n log k, n log k. So the previous solution was n log n, but this time it's n log k. So we are slightly better. And the trade-off is the space that we use to locate, allocate this priority queue. So it's going to be k. Yep, so this is how you would do find the kth largest element in array. And um, anyways, it, it was a pretty straightforward question. So no matter, no matter what, when you see find the kth largest, kth smallest, or whatever, remember to use priority queue if space is not the priority. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching and uh, happy coding.